In this video, we're going to show you how to calibrate the Ultra Ray 3000 for benzene monitoring. To perform the calibration, you need the following pieces of equipment. A demand flow regulator, a benzene separation tube, calibration gas with a concentration of 5 ppm benzene and balance of air, and some calibration tubing. When calibrating the Ultra Ray 3000, it's important to note that this is a two-stage process. Zero calibration first, followed by span calibration. When performing zero calibration, it's vital to do so in a clean air environment. To do this, zero the sensors by following these steps. Access the calibration menu, choose zero calibration, and the unit will now count down from 30 to zero. If you're not in a fresh air environment, or you need to perform the calibration in the field, Use a carbon filter by attaching it to the probe as shown. When performing the span calibration for benzene, ensure that you select benzene as the target from the menu and that the concentration displayed matches the concentration of the calibration gas you'll be using. After selecting the target gas, insert the benzene separation tube into the probe. Before inserting it, be sure to use the tube breaker in the front of the pack to ensure that the gas can flow freely from one end to the other. The gas separation tube filters out any unwanted gases, allowing the target gas to be accurately measured. It's important at this point to properly refit the probe, making sure it's tightened. Now attach the calibration tubing to the probe and the unit's internal pump will draw the relevant sample from the gas cylinder over a 60 second countdown. After 60 seconds, the calibration is complete. You can now exit the calibration menu, however, if the gas is still attached to the unit, it will go into alarm. Simply remove the tubing from the probe, along with the separation tube, which you should dispose of in accordance with your site rules, and the Ultra Ray 3000 is now calibrated for benzene and ready for use.